On today's episode of the Piedmont Motion Picture Show, we're talking about making a no-budget short film, and that starts right now. Hey guys, Ryan Camp with the Piedmont Motion Picture Company. Thank you so much for joining me today. This channel is all about learning and growing as a filmmaker. So if that's your sort of thing, please give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and be sure to click that bell notification icon so you don't miss our new videos. Many of you watching this video right now might be in a position where you wanna make a short film, but you don't have the money to bring your vision to life. Sometimes in order to flex our creative muscles, we have to be willing to cut back on our grand vision. We need to be able to scale things down a bit and create simple visual stories that we can make using the resources we have available to us. Films can be made one or two ways. The traditional way with a full crew, a full array of gear, uh, tons of locations, lots of actors, lots of cast, catering, and a budget to help facilitate all of those things. Or you can make it with no budget, using the gear, the people, and the locations that you already have available to you. Or you can do it all alone. Uh, you can act in your movie and you can film it if you can write a story that works that way. Unless you have expendable income or someone willing to invest in your film idea, or if you've been able to raise funds using a crowdfunding website like Indiegogo or Kickstarter, something I've never had much success with, then you're probably gonna have to make a film with little to no budget. You're probably gonna have to use the resources available to you to make your film. This method is called no budget filmmaking or resource filmmaking. With this method, you're not gonna to wanna to start off with a complicated script or storyline, but instead you're gonna to wanna to take a look at the resources you have and work backwards essentially writing a story around what you already have available to you. Okay, let's break it down into a checklist of sorts of everything you're gonna to need to have in order to get started on your no-budget film. First up is gear. Of course, when it comes to gear, you're going to at least need a camera, a tripod, and something to record audio with. Whether your camera is a phone or a cheap DSLR, it doesn't really matter. Lay out all of the gear that you have at your disposal, and that's what you're gonna be using to shoot this film. If you have a friend that will let you borrow some gear, awesome. The point is here that we're not gonna be spending any money to rent or buy new gear to shoot this film. If you happen to just be starting out and have access to no gear whatsoever, and you're looking to get into the hobby, I put together two budget filmmaking kits that you can check out in the description below. One for a budget DSLR kit, and one for a budget mobile film kit. So be sure to check those out. It's an affordable way to help get your hobby off to a great start. Up next is crew. You're going to want to write a script that doesn't require a large crew to get the job done. Something you can shoot by yourself or maybe with the help of one other person who can work the boom pole for you. Make sure it's someone you trust and someone who might have an interest in maybe learning filmmaking along with you. But the most important part is someone that's willing to work for free. Ask your friends and family if they're interested in helping you and hopefully you can find someone to help you out if you need it. But if you really wanna keep things simple, just work out a way to shoot the film all by yourself. Next up is casting. Since we're shooting this film with no money, we're not gonna be hiring professional actors or holding casting calls. Unless you have a friend that is a professional actor that is willing to work for free or you have a huge line of people just waiting to be in your film. But chances are you're going to need to take a look at the people that are part of your daily life family, close friends, or maybe some acquaintances on social media that may be interested. Look at those people, send them a direct message if you have to, give them a call on the phone, or you can post on social media asking for a show of hands of people that might be interested. Once you have a few people interested, sit down with them, and tell them about what you're trying to do, and maybe get a feel for their personalities and write characters around their personalities. Write a character around who they already are as a person. This will make the process easier, faster, it'll make them more comfortable on set, and in the very end, it's gonna make you have more believable characters in your film. And like I said, if you have to, you can always shoot and star in your own film. It's tough, but it can be done. I have a video here that focuses on that exact topic if you're interested in learning more. Okay, next is locations. We need to look at locations the same way that we do our cast and crew. Take a look at the locations that you already have available to you. What are the most interesting locations that you already have access to and that you can shoot at for free? Do you or someone you know own a dilapidated old factory or house that you can shoot a horror short in? Does someone you know own a diner or restaurant? Or what about a posh high-rise apartment located in downtown? Each of these locations could open up a myriad of story possibilities. Actually, when thinking about a short film idea, sometimes I start with the location first. 
This can really get ideas flowing about possible story avenues, and sometimes it can help take your film in fun, interesting, and unexpected directions. You need to find someone that's willing to let you use their space for free when you're trying to shoot a no-budget film. I've often found access to awesome locations just by making a post on social media. Even if you don't know the person personally, maybe one of your friends can put you in contact with them. Just post what kind of location it is you're looking for and just see what comes up. A lot of people will be willing to let you use their location just because they think it's cool that you're shooting a movie and they want to be a part of it in some way. But be sure to always draw up a location agreement when you're shooting in a location, even if it's for free. That way you and the property owner are both protected. That way if something gets damaged, someone gets hurt, or if they come back later and decide they don't want you to use their location in your film, everyone is protected. Just something to keep in mind. Once you have access to the location, be sure to investigate it thoroughly before shooting. Take a look at all the various angles, uh, bring your lights and your camera and set up different lighting setups to get a feel for what it's gonna look like. And if you have time, you can bring your camera and take photos or video and use them in storyboarding or just um, conveying mood to your cast and crew. Once you have your gear, locations, cast and crew all laid out and ready, now it's time to start writing a story around all of these things. Remember to keep it short and simple and not to use too many characters or locations. Try not to write anything that's gonna require a lot of special effects work or rigorous editing in post-production. You want to create a simple premise with a simple conflict and resolution. Remember to write characters around the people that are available to you. Write characters that match their personalities and use their natural strengths to make them more believable. And remember to write a story using the locations that are already available to you and nothing more. And there you have it guys. I think if you follow these steps, you're gonna be able to put together a great, no budget short film that you can be proud of. All right, question of the day. Have you ever made a no budget short film? If so, what sort of challenges did you face? Let us all know in the comments below. Before we go, I'd like to give a special thanks to the patrons that made this video possible. Ethan B, Richard H, Ben K, and Ashley S. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. And if you would like to help support the channel like they are, you can find the link to our Patreon page in the description below. As always, I hope this video has been very beneficial to you, and if it has, please give it a thumbs up, and please consider subscribing if you're not already. Thanks for coming along on this filmmaking journey with me. I am Ryan, and I will see you on the next Piedmont Motion Picture Show.